Hey. Are you James? Yep. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy. This is from this is from Guangzhou. So hmm. what what type of goldfish is this? A lot of, a lot of shops bring in the fish straight away they sell. This fish will not survive. Correct. The back must be smooth. Angle of tail must be 45 degrees. Ah, okay. Let's talk about Orenda. Orenda, yeah. Okay, Orenda. Today, I am heading to NK Farm Singapore. And since the start of time, I know a lot of comments have been asking for Go fish, go fish, go fish. So today I've heard your comments and we are going. It's a go fish farm. I believe he doesn't do any breeding but he does um, import export and basically a go fish expert. And I've never been there before so I'm pretty curious myself. I hope that sounds not too loud. And yeah, we're just. I'm gonna be asking him a lot of um, questions. Uh, show you guys the different types of go fish and care tips, uh, things about what you, what to look for when you buy a goldfish, how do you care for your goldfish, how do you bring the best out of your goldfish and just you know any frequently asked questions that people usually have. So let's go check it out. Hello. Hi, are you James? All right, thanks for having me, man. No problem. So, uh, just <laughs> maybe just show me. Uh, <laughs> social distance. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, how long? How long have you been doing this? Since two zero zero three. Uh. Two zero zero three. I bring in my own own fish for for my own own self, uh, because Singapore don't have the kind of grade that I want. Right. Two two zero five hundred. I start competing in the uh. So you you do this out of start off as a hobby. Uh, yeah. And yeah, then. Still doing it as a hobby. Right. Oh, so this is just a hobby to you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, basically most of our fish are from Thailand. Okay. So maybe we can start from the Thai fish. The Thai fish will be here. <coughs> These are just, 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 uh, just arrived. Uh, right. Uh, last uh, Saturday. So you, this is the Thai. The water is blue because it's under quarantine. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so right. what? And also, and, so, and also because due to the weather. Right. Uh, right. So, so it's under quarantine. So, but it's already for sales. Uh, very soon. Okay. So, so how long? How do you? How long do you quarantine a uh, fish for usually when you get it? Okay. Uh, the fish is quarantined over in Thai side five days. Five days. Okay. Over here three days. Three days. Okay. Uh, no feeding. Ah. Uh, during this. Ah. Uh, okay. Right? Mm. Then this is our our new batch. Our new batch usually we don't use filter. La. No filter. No filter. Why? Because because filter will have. Uh, we, we we will have uh, what we call bacteria. You know, we cultivate bacteria. Bacteria can help you in the fish, and also can 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 infect the fish as well. Ah, oh, so but you but you are not feeding also, right? Not so feeding, it's, feeding. ah, okay. It's, it's already uh, they already not they are not feeding in Thailand also. Right. Right, okay. Okay. So what we do here is we open the fish over here. We do water change every two days. Uh. Every two days. Tap water. Manual or tap water. Right. Manually, manually. Manually. Yeah. Uh. How many percent? Uh, 50%. 50%. Every two days. For every tank. Every tank. Even right. the tub also. Oh. Okay. So this is this is from Thai. All from Thai. Okay. This is from this is from Guangzhou. So what what type of goldfish is this? This is the calico uh ranchu. Ranchu. Yep. So even amongst ranchu there are different types, is it? Uh ranchu basically calico comes from China. La. They are stronger, stronger in in calico ranchu. Right. For the for the for the Thais, they are stronger in red white. This time. All right. So this is a ranchu also. This is a ranchu. What what what's the defining feature of a ranchu? Uh. Okay. Basically, there are three types. Okay. Uh, buffalo, lion head, and in between. In between, they call it the hybrid la. Yeah. Okay, but the China side they call it tiger head. Tiger head. Oh. So we can differentiate. Uh. That means if you show me a fish from China, red white, and a Thai, I can differentiate. Right. The scale for the Thai is slightly smaller, more 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 refined. Right. Uh, okay. okay. So these are the small Thai shoes. 
So, I mean, uh, let's say someone is buying, right? Would you recommend you buy a start buy from small and grow it out or buy big? Okay, uh, <clears throat> basically, the, cult- the fish culture in Singapore for blue fish, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, we like to buy small and grow big. Okay. This is our culture. Is there a but reason? For, I don't know why, but maybe, <laughs> maybe from our forefathers, we are already used, we are already breeding and all that, yeah. kampung, way, kampung style. But for the for China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, they, they go straight for the big fish. Mm. What from uh, what I understand, goldfish will change color, right? As uh, they grow older. Small fish, small fish. The small as they grow older, uh, they will change, right? Okay. Uh, change in the sense that when it's green, you you don't know whether it will, it will change to red or red white. Right. An example of like um, if I'm to select a fish, right? What uh, do I look out for? What kind of goldfish? Ranchu, Oranda, Yukin. Each of them. Let's go to like maybe Ranchu first. Okay, Ranchu, Ranchu basically, okay, basically, when you talk about ornamental fish, the fish must be able to swim well. Right. Otherwise, there's no ornamental value. Yeah. No matter how nice the fish looks, but the, the fish swimming very clumsily, struggling, no more ornamental value, right? Yeah. So, the first thing is swimming. Okay. Okay. Then after that, we look at the, okay, for small fish, usually they look for swimming, uh, curvature, that means perfect curve. Okay. Perfect curve also they have uh, long curve, medium curve, short curve. So so for the for the senior hobbies, they, they want to grow the fish big. Yeah. Usually, usually for competition, uh, you want to go go, 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 go for grand champion. You have got to fight under big category. Yeah. Grand champion. Small category, only champion. You cannot get grand champion. So okay. usually these people when they choose the fish take longer time okay but the fish will grow very big so they go for the longer curve uh, okay, okay. Uh, so okay. The, the curve is do you have an example of what the long versus short curve look like okay, okay. For example here huh? okay this is considered a short short okay. so so because the, the curve here is short is it in a bend the, the curve is no 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 it's the, the oh the top uh, the top okay so this is a short curve short curve okay this is a medium curve or long curve just consider as medium curve uh, okay so yeah, this is a medium curve the back, is it? correct the back must be smooth angle of tail must be 45 degree yeah. ah, okay. there must not be any any king or you know uh. yeah. okay okay so the long the long there, there are fishes that's longer in curve. Something like this, uh, longer uh, in curve. Straight, 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 longer in curve. So the longer one, it has the longer one, of a slope, right? Uh, longer one uh, usually can grow very big and very fast. Right. So for, for a fish this size, mm. how, how old is it? Okay, uh, <clears throat> for China, this is at least 2 to 3 years old. Now, now the question is, the Thai, this size is around 8 to 10 months. So the Thai grow faster? Yeah. For China, 2 to 3 years. The, the rancho that I showed you earlier, the bigger one, those are 3 year old fish. Right. Mm. Is, it, is it like because of genetics or is it because of what they feed? Okay, for the Thai, they are paid by the, the size of the body. So they have an incentive to make it grow faster? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, but for the, for, for the Chinese, uh, the older the fish, the more valuable the fish is. Uh. Right. You know, uh, okay. Because it's more stable, easier to keep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's talk about Orenda. Orenda, yeah. Okay, Orenda. Young fish. Okay, for Orenda, it's a very hardy fish, but um, there's more things to to look out for. Okay. The tail must be at 45 to 60 degree. Okay. Tail end cannot be bent. Cannot be bent. Okay. Then, meaning a curve to curve it. in, yeah, yeah. Okay. The dorsal fin must be upright, straight. Cannot okay. cannot bend this way, cannot cannot bend that, that way. Right. Must be straight. Okay. So this is what we call a perfect finish. Okay. Okay? Single or double inner, we don't care. Uh, not important. Uh. Not important. Okay? The, but the most important is after selection, swimming is very important. Uh, right? <coughs> right, right. Okay. Uh, uh. So, Lukin. Same thing apply, huh? Dorsal must be straight, huh? Dorsal fin. Yeah, okay. dorsal fin is straight. Straight, 
straight, 45, tail don't bend. Okay, for this, uh, inner fin? Inner fin, we don't care. Okay, uh. Uh, single or double, we don't care. Okay, this, 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 this curve and this curve must be like this. Cannot be like this, cannot be like this. Ah. Okay, the, the head must be as small as possible, pointing straight, not up, not down. Okay. Okay, and most important, not slanting to to the left or right. The face is it? Not left or right. Crooked okay. face, ah. Ah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. So okay. it's perfect in the middle. Ah. Uh. And then also the head must not have any head growth. It's okay. Lukin. Right. Uh -huh. But there's a new breed, ah, uh, called Lukin or Randa. They cross the hybrid. Yep. It's like Lukin, but with the head. Oh, uh, so when you go for competition, right? Mm. What do you look at? What do the judge look at? Wow, I'm guessing it's different. You like different things, really. Uh, okay. When we go for competition, especially international competition, we want to know who are the judges. So roughly, we know what they're looking for. Right. If you don't know who are the judges, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. Because at this time, at this point in time, we don't have a set point system. So it's a bit subjective. Uh, yes, okay, let's say based on Akurama, there's a few judges that's always regular, so roughly we know what they want. Okay. So, for even for Thai competition, Indonesian competition, Malaysia used to have but not, not very uh, frequent now. I think Singapore also the same. Now it's only Indonesia and Thai. Okay, have competition. So when you have competition, it's good because it will, it will actually uh, raise the standard, you know. Uh, they will raise awareness what you look for in a fish. Right. What is A, what is B. I mean you don't want you do not want a commercial people. That's the thing. So you mentioned grooming, right? Mm. What 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 are the different uh, techniques people use to groom? Okay. So I know like okay. Basically Bauhaul, for yeah. keeping go fish, uh, yeah. there's only two two main uh, so called uh, so called school of thoughts. Uh. Okay. With filter, without filter. Also there's actually a school of thought of without filter. Without filter means you keep fish like the seventies, water and air bubble. What's the what's water the change? Okay, the thing is that uh, <coughs> they cannot keep many fish, uh, but the fishes that these people keep, the people who keep uh, uh, fishes without filter, are the high end fish keepers. Because the fish are so expensive, they do not want to have any mistake. You know same thing. So that means, uh, for example, if you use filter. Filter can actually the bacteria can can actually help you to uh, maintain the water. Yeah, but they also can infect the fish. But right the bacteria can grow. Uh, because because from good it can it can become bad. Yeah. Uh, so you don't know when you don't know when you need to, to be more observant. Uh. Okay. So if you keep fish without without any filter, there is no bacteria. And then you depend on. Then the means it's safer. It's safe. It's, it's uh more safe for you to do it this way, right? Yeah. Because the fish is too expensive. You know. So that's why people who keep top view and choose or the high end fish, they don't use filter. Right. It's just a top and the uh, air bubble, that's all. Mm. Oh, okay. That's the So there's two school of thought. The first time I hear about no filter. Okay, in if you this if context. you okay for, for me when I go to Thailand every three months I sometimes bring bring my customer there. Yeah. For them to understand, to improve their 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 you know, their the way of keeping. See how the Thai are keeping the fish. Okay, Thai way of keeping and China way of keeping is completely different. Uh. Very different. What's the what's the difference? Okay, for Thai, it's actually they actually follow the uh, they're more influenced by the Japanese, uh, not the Chinese. So very small farm, very compact. So it's more like what we call uh, specialized in a certain certain breed. For yeah. example, they specialize in ranchu means ranchu, oranda means ranchu, oh, oranda. They don't mix. Right. Okay. So and then also division of labor. For example, they it's a different culture for the Thai. They are willing to share. You know, especially among the villagers. China secretive. China. Uh, <laughs> if I got any secret weapon, I'll keep it to myself. Yeah. But for the Thai, they'll share. Right. Okay. So what they do is this particular farm only specialize in breeding. Nothing else but breeding and culling. Culling takes a lot of work. <clears throat> so after culling, when the fish is about 
about one inch and another farm will take over okay this farm buy the buy the the price in in bulk the whole batch so what he do is he will he will grow the fish from from this size more care from this size uh, to two and a half inch okay okay after that the big farm will come and buy off this this whole batch they will throw inside the mud pond and grow them up. to grow to four inch very fast All right very fast uh, then from then there's there is the reseller farm they don't bring what they do is they will buy off the four inch fish from the the, the, the third farm and grow them even further and sell higher price uh. china farm they do everything in one process from breeding all the way to culling all the way everything to everything they handle everything yeah okay so these farms are usually super big yeah so okay, so uh, based on your tanks, I will assume that you are the school of thought that filter, or you for you depends on which fish. Okay, you see, uh, now, 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 now my 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 section over there is without any filter. Yeah. So it's easier for me to quarantine. It means uh, I I make sure that there's no 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 bacteria that will infect them. Correct. During quarantine. Yeah. Okay. So no filter. Then uh, over here, this this uh, eight tanks uh, have filter. But okay. I don't own them. It's because this this eight tanks are uh, during this weather, where raining season uh, is very cold, in the morning Correct. and in the night. Correct. So easy to get uh, fungus and white spot. So for for the for the channel fish we have here, one two three four. This is from Mr. Tang in Guangzhou. Okay. This is the number one breeder for Liu Qin, Yan Pao, and uh, Demi Qin. Right. Okay. So this is the Yuan Pao, the baby. So this looks like maybe they are three months? Uh this should be around three months. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So all these all same breeder. Same breeder. From <laughs> Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Okay, uh this is this is also from Mr. Tang. He recently uh Want to explore the 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 what we call the giant orandas, right? Uh. So is this close to max size? This is a baby. Uh. This is a baby. Eight, eight months old. Because <laughs> I mean, when we go to retail okay. shop, this is already considered the, the biggest. Yeah, yeah, correct. But this yeah. is a baby. Uh. This one, this one is actually the the customer that want to buy this fish uh, need to have about five five feet up, right? Uh, five feet to six feet tank, uh. right? This is only eight months old. Yeah. Uh. Okay, wait. So I'm guessing with both fish, right? Mm. Um, you can keep different types together. There's no compatibility issue. Uh, okay. Usually we advise Ranchu or Randa can keep together. Okay. But try not to keep uh Lukin. this uh, Lukin with Ranchu. Why? Why is that? Uh, okay. When you have when you throw in the food, uh, when they compete for the food, the Ranchu is much lower. So it's always undernourished. Uh. Right. Uh. And then sometimes even when 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 they, when they become very aggressive. The Lukin will go first and, and eat the food. If the Ranchu come, ah, uh, he, he may attack the the Ranchu. Uh, so one eye may be gone. <laughs> so so <coughs> the Lukin tends to be more aggressive. Aggressive. So Lukin, Lukin with Oranda is okay, not mm. with Ranchu. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, mm. And out of the three, which is the most beginner friendly, Oranda? Uh, okay. Ranchu is more popular. It's yeah. considered as king of goldfish. Eh? Yeah. Uh, it's easy to keep, but it's, it's not as robust as Oranda. Okay, Oranda is uh, more robust, but want to keep well not easy because there's a lot of things to look after. When you have a perfect finish, consider as grade A, but this A can become B. If the bottom of the tail is folded, B. Right. So it may buy an A fish, but end up to be a B. What? What? How? B means that uh, you you throw into a competition. The in the first round you'll be struck off uh, because no perfect finish. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So what 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 will cause that? Um, Okay, maybe your water is your water. The water is not uh, fresh enough. Okay. Your your orenda is always sitting at the bottom. Right. So when it's at the bottom, the tail the tail end will be folded. Okay. Okay. Or the the height of the tank is not high enough. Uh, right. Not high enough. Okay. So usually for orenda, the the best height is two feet and, and above. Mm. Mm. Two wow. feet and above. Yeah. Then okay. <coughs> again, these are these are the. These are the ranchus, right? the Thai ranchus that I that I work with. Uh. Okay, so actually this kind I have to ask. Um, hmm. I've heard before that some people say so as they grow older, sometimes the 
it will cover their eyes. Yes, eye. yes, yes. Then, so you have to operate. Then the customer will bring the fish for me to operate. Uh. Uh, so that's something uh, you, you have to be you careful cut, about. Uh. Yeah. But actually, if even if they co close the eyes, uh, unless they're setting for competition, then it's better for you to cut. Yeah. Without otherwise, the otherwise they will have pinhole eyesight. They it won't affect their the feeding. Uh. Right. Won't affect their feeding. Okay. 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 Yeah. What about someone who is keeping? What's the what do you think is the optimal? Okay, uh, minimum two meals a day. Two meals a day. One meal, three throws of five minutes. Three throws of five minutes. Okay. And what do you what do you feed them? Uh, we feed them uh pellets. I I I sell the pellets that uh, is not available in the market. Right. Well, so okay, this is this is azayaka. It's very right. popular uh fish food, but it's not available in Singapore. Right. It's one of the best food that, that is available. This one is for growth. Yeah. Uh, sinking. Uh, the sizing is uh, double S. Okay, I have full range, I have purple also. This one is for uh, enrichment. Okay, same, double S. Sinking. This one with color. Uh. So the goldfish prefer sinking or floating food? Uh, <coughs> okay. For Oranda, it's, for Oranda, floating should be better. Because right. it will help to to actually shape the tail. When the fish go up to 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 eat, right, the tail needs to balance. Yeah. So the tail will keep 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 open, now. Because because orander likes to dash. When the fish swim very fast, the tail will be will collapse, will be closed, then right. the swim like this. So let's say if you go for calm, the tail don't open up. No, it's not very nice, ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, so so sometimes for oranda we they can eat they can eat sinking, but floating also good. Mm. Okay, another one that we have here is only available in Japan, not outside of Japan. Okay. Okay, because as you can see, in Japan only. Yeah. Uh, this one is the 35 year improvement of a 35 year old formula. Uh, okay, so uh, the old formula only for heat growth. But this one is for heat growth, body, and color. And also with free probiotics. Right. Mm. This is what we have. Okay. Special food, special food. <laughs> so after after uh, so many years of doing this, right? Why why haven't you decided to start breeding yourself? Ah, uh, breeding too much. Even hassle. okay, you see, yeah, uh, for Thai side, yeah, uh, breeding is uh, you need a lot of land, labor, and then uh, knowledge. Right. Okay. And uh, it's the biggest gamble. Right. If you are able, if you do well, hundred percent. But it's not possible, lah. Maybe eighty percent. Yeah. If the weather is against you, wipe out. Zero or fifty percent. Right. Okay. So you can see that the the actually the rich farmers are the the, the fourth the fourth tier. The one that buy the small fish and, and grow, grow them out. So they are resellers or they we call it groomers growers. They are not breeders. Right. These these are the people that will do well because they already cut away the the risk involved. Yeah. So it's very risky for us, ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, so why do you keep some in tanks and some in ponds? Okay. Uh, all, all we have here is we have a uh, water reservoir here because we do forty eight. Uh, this uh, water change fifty percent, right? Right. So I have one reservoir and two reservoir here. So this all dechlorinated tap water. Yeah. Okay. This one, this one, this one will will be overnight, ah, for forty eight hours before we use them. Ah. Mm. So you just let the chlorine uh, go off, gas off. So those that are cheap in the tub, there's no filter. Man. And then uh, the, the water pressure is lower. Right. Big surface area. So it's also deep. Ah, correct. So it's actually very comfortable for the new fish. Ah. Right. If you introduce them to a tank, the water the water pressure is different. Yeah. You know, and you have color also. Are these, are these the biggest ones you have on hand? Uh, yes, on hand. On but, hand uh, these are not the biggest fish that came in. Eh? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, this is a huge baby. These are these are still babies, ah. So so actually, the the customers who would like to play with fish that can grow very big. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it will be quite impressive to see. Mm. Plus, the most most of the time, as, as it is, it's quite rare to see uh, this size over here. I think go to retail shops. Most of the time, you see not even maybe that size will be the biggest. This size, I Yeah, we go retail shops. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a. It's but a but retail shop, retail shop is uh, basically selling fish, maintaining and selling fish. Yeah. Sitting and selling fish. But for us, it's a different, different ball game. You so you you take part in the grooming as well, lah. Because because for 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 me, I started off as a hobby. Yeah. Uh, when do you start? Two o o three. And that's when you start this farm, right? 
No, no, no. Oh, that's, that's right. when I start to bring in. Uh, uh, hard, but before uh, that, were you a hobbyist fish. already? I'm already a hobbyist. Uh. So, so when, when do you start fish keeping? Go uh. fish lah, go fish keeping. Go fish two, three, yo. Oh. Two, three itself lah. Uh, uh. okay. Not about when, when I was young, young in, the, in the younger days lah. Uh. Okay. Two, three, two, five. I start to com- compete in Akorama. Right. Uh. How how do you get started? Why why suddenly two, three? Uh, <coughs> at the time very stressful on my job because my job is a very stressful job. Right. So the go so fish very relaxing. Really. So that's why every three months I go go to Thailand. It's a second home to me. Yeah. I'm good to relax. At the same time which relax. which part of Thailand? Okay, Bangkok. Usually we go on a Friday, come back on a Monday. Yeah. So uh, we will we will have an hour and hour in, in Bangkok on a Friday. Saturday morning we will reach the farm. Sunday evening we will go back to Bangkok. Okay. Then uh, spend spend the we take dinner there in Bangkok. Spend one night there. Then uh, Monday we have half a day to buy whatever we forgot uh, forgotten uh, <laughs> or do some massage. And after that, in the evening we fly back to Singapore. Yeah. Uh, okay. Very relaxing, uh, not, yeah. not very special. So your site here, you sell straight to customers? Yep. Do you uh, sell to retail also? Or? Uh, no, no, I don't do wholesale, but I do export to Malaysia uh, and back okay. to Thailand uh, for the China fish. Okay, so uh, if anyone wants to export, come by? Export, export. Uh, I will send directly from from Guangzhou to Malaysia to Thailand. Right. Uh, and so how, 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 can you, how can anyone contact you if they want for export? Well, it's for they can contact me. But I got I got someone that's that's, that's doing uh, China. Okay. That they can live with them for China. Okay. But for me, I, I concentrate only on retail in Singapore. So okay. So for retail, how do people can contact with you? So you can they can actually uh, WhatsApp me. They can actually contact through my Facebook. Okay. So uh, I'll put all those in the video, the yeah. description. Yeah. 